Fans will have to wait a little longer to see their favorite characters since the world of DC movies have been postponed once more. More Warner Bros. Release date shuffles mean further delays for Shazam, Fury of the Gods and Aquaman, and The Lost Kingdom. There are several factors that seem to be at play in the recent delays of these two highly anticipated films. Given that these most recent delays occurred in the midst of the turmoil surrounding Warner Bros., Discovery, and its recent franchise cancellations, there has been a great deal of frenzied conjecture regarding the hows and whys of them. However, the precise cause of their delays have been revealed, and they are not as complicated as one might believe. Aquaman 2 will now air on December 25, 2023. It has already been delayed from its original release date of December 16, 2022 to March 17, 2023. Meanwhile, the new release date of Shazam! Fury of the Gods is March 17, 2023, occupying Aquaman's 2 supposed date. So, what do you think caused this simultaneous delay? Does this issue still have something to do with the recent chaos of one of Aquaman's stars, Amber Heard? Why don't we find Find out in today's video. But of course, before any of that, make sure to first hit the subscribe button and smash that notification bell for more updates. Now, let's dive in. It was recently announced that both Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom and Shazam! Fury of the Gods have been delayed again, with Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom now releasing in December 2023, and the Shazam! Fury of the Gods movie taking Lost Kingdom's previous March 2023 release date. This marks the third time the new Shazam! have been pushed back. Warner Bros. previously moved the sequel to avoid opening on the same day as Avatar, The Way of Water, Shazam! Fury of the Gods sees Zachary Levi reprise his role as Shazam opposite Jack Dylan Grazer, Asher Angel, Rachel Zegler, Adam Brody, Ross Butler, DJ Contora, Grace Fulton, and Megan Good. Lucy Liu and Helen Mirren are also set to join the cast as villains playing Atlas's daughter, Hespera, and Kalispo. One major explanation for this is that Warner Bros. Discovery is so low on funds at the moment that they could only afford to release three movies in 2022, which is why Fury of the Gods was pushed out of 2022 and Lost Kingdom, in turn, was pushed back to the end of 2023. Warner Bros. Discovery's monetary issues have been a very public matter in the past few weeks, so it would make sense for that to be in play here. Money was a definite factor in Aquaman and The Lost Kingdom and Shazam being delayed, but it also appears other details also led to the decision. These details comprise a combination of production issues and Warner Bros. Discovery wanting to make sure that the movies would succeed as much as possible by altering release dates to more optimal times. It's unfortunate fortunate either way, but defining why the delays happen still does a lot to change their circumstances. The simple reason for Shazam! Fury of Gods' apparent postponement is to keep it out of the competition with Avatar, The Way of Water, while post-production is almost complete. According to David Sandberg, The Way of Water was already occupying the majority of the IMAX and PLF screams for its theatrical run, which would have forced Shazam! Fury of the Gods to play on lower quality screens if it had retained its original release date. Shazam 2 won't have to compete with James Cameron's Avatar 2, which is also certainly going to make a ton of money during its run, which not only gives it more access to IMAX and PLF screens but also makes it simpler for it to be a success at the box office. Recently, Levi responded to rumors that Henry Cavill might reprise his role as Superman for a cameo in the sequel. At Comic-Con on the Warner Bros. panel, Levi was posed the question, will Cavill reprise Superman for the Shazam sequel? I can neither confirm nor deny allegations such as these. These are not questions you're allowed to ask me on the stage right now. So, no, the actor replied, before offering a wink to the fan who asked him. The delay for Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom is more due to production-related concerns. Deadline reports that Aquaman 2 has to be postponed from its original March 23rd release date because post-production problems need more time to resolve them. However, one advantage of the delay is that Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom will now be released around the holiday season, just like the first Aquaman movie, which, given its box office success, bodes well for Aquaman 2. 
Despite the fact that Shazam and Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom both included money, the fact that Fury of the Gods was delayed and considering the advantages of the new release dates for these movies implies they were additional factors at work for the latter. It was primarily a strategic choice to avoid having to compete with Avatar, The Way of Water, while for the former, extra time was required to compete post-production. Either movie was able to arrive on time, in the end, their delays are probably for the best. So, does Aquaman 2's delay mean even more of Ben Affleck's Batman? Aquaman 2's release date has shifted to after The Flash, and with Ben Affleck's Batman in both, could this suggest his return is on the cards? The DCEU is obviously on the studio's mind, as a 10-year cinematic strategy for DC is being put up under the combined Warner Bros. discovery. Despite Ben Affleck's rumored retirement from the character, a number of recent occurrences have also started reintroducing Ben Affleck's Batman into the conversation. The most recent of these changes was the move of Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom to December 2023. According to reports, Ben Affleck's apparent recorded some sort of appearance for the movie in the summer of 2022. Prior to that, Barry Allen will be shown traveling through the multiverse, which will cause Michael Keaton's captured crusader to make an appearance in The Flash, while the release order of The Flash and Aquaman 2 has been changed back to how it was originally planned. Affleck's participation in both films raises the possibility of significant production-related alterations. According to reports, Affleck's appearance in Aquaman 2 replaces a cameo Keaton had intended to make for Affleck's Bruce Wayne, with Aquaman 2 arriving and probably taking the place after The Flash on June 23, 2023. Affleck's Bruce Wayne will be reintroduced in the latter, in what will look to be a business-as-usual scenario, given that Affleck once said that The Flash placed a lovely end to his tenure as Batman. His subsequent DCEU involvement would suggest that Affleck is resuming his role as the Dark Knight. Could Ben Affleck's role in Aquaman 2 and The Flash indicate that his Batman is returning? For a while, it was thought that Ben Affleck would replace Michael Keaton as the DC Extended Universe's Dark Knight. At the time, The Flash was scheduled to release after Aquaman 2. Thus, Keaton's involvement in the film had little to no significance. Affleck's role in both are contextualized differently. As a result of the Scarlet Speedsters movie being moved up to the top spot, this also likely made Affleck's Batman record unbeatable due to their order of release. Not only is Affleck Affleck's entrance in Aquaman 2 very unlikely to be a setup for anything in The Flash, but it also essentially turns him into the DCEU's current Batman during the events of Aquaman 2. Before making any assumptions about Affleck's future as the caped crusader, it is nevertheless important to keep in mind how inconsistent Affleck has been as Batman over the previous few years. The fact that Affleck is starring in both The Flash and Aquaman 2, though, may be a significant indication. Ben Affleck's Batman might just be getting ready to put on the cowl once more by the time Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom ends. Even before these recent delays, Aquaman 2 has already been delayed a few times. It was first said to be released early this year, but then was delayed until December 2022. A lot of speculations have gone around about the reasons behind the first and second delay. But as one of its main characters, Amber Heard was in the middle of facing allegations of defamation against her ex-husband Johnny Depp at the time. She had been the center on the issue. However, production team and the director himself defended that the delay was caused by internal issues such as filming and post-production. That's all for today. We hope you enjoyed that video. And if you did, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and smash that notification bell for more episodes.